Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance? Or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. And I'm gonna do exactly what you brought me back to do. I'm gonna win this war, and I'll do it without sacrificing the soul of our species. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. Once more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine, if you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. We've already been down that road. No more. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost her chance to show off. Like she needs it. 
You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max? What do they need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the volas? Oh, feeds the delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill?
want to take off, there's a half hour of pre-flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? The clone's using Spectre authorization for an emergency takeoff. Well, I know what I'm doing next time. Send a warning to the Normandy. We can't. Tunnels are jammed, remember? Damn it. Even. Wait, what? You were just on the Normandy. You you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. I can't fire you without a disciplinary hearing, trainer. And really, the first thing you grab is your toothbrush? It's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... Shepard's got a clone. Makes sense when you think about it. I can explain more later. For now... It's sealed. They're about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No, I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay, you know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? We can't hack it. We need a very precise mass effect field to get it from out here. <clears throat> if you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the Council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha-ha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the Council! This is our chance! Oh shit, Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> like this. It's joking time. much how it happened, which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! 
I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later.
In prophase, you see chromatins condense to chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. Time to get back out there, huh? At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. No. No, you'll find a way to beat the odds. And when you do, hero man, I'll be waiting. I wouldn't have missed any of it for the world.